Well, Palestinian protesters continued their calls for a ceasefire in Gaza this evening, holding a rally in front of Congressman Jim McGovern's Northampton office. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live in studio with their message to Democratic leaders. That's right, Nick. We also heard from McGovern tonight, who tells me the public has the right to protest, and he also told me what's happening in Gaza is heartbreaking. Pressure is growing for top Democratic leaders to take action over the war in Gaza. Protests breaking out during the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. And rallies held here locally. This is a genocide. Demilitarized Western Massachusetts in front of the Northampton Office of Democratic Representative Jim McGovern. I understand that he is progressive and that he has done things for our community. But if genocide is not your red line, none of it matters. The protesters also calling out Vice President Kamala Harris on her DNC speech. I will always stand up for Israel's right to defend itself. Harris also saying it's time to get a ceasefire and hostage deal done. The scale of suffering is heartbreaking. Alligator tears. If she wants to get people's vote, it's very simple. She can go to the president and say, I'm not going to get elected if we keep doing this. We have to stop sending these weapons right now, and we have to make it very clear that we're not going to attack Iran. We have to make it very clear that we want a ceasefire, period. Congressman McGovern says he's doing everything he can, urging the parties to reach a ceasefire deal. I voted against uh, sending continued military aid to the Netanyahu government. Um, I, I, I continue to be pushing for a ceasefire. Uh, we need to get the hostages released. We need a surge of humanitarian aid to the Palestinians, and we need to figure out a long-term process so that Israel's security can be assured and the Palestinians can live free from occupation and determine their own future. According to the United Nations, about 40,000 Palestinians in Gaza have been killed over the last 10 months. Work review tonight, Christina DeMores, 22 News.